late last year, we dropped our first EP, uh, Foundations. Weren't really sure where we were going to go from there, but we had a lot of, um, lot of interest. Yeah, we, were, we were really blown away. So our good mate Bobby um, sort of come on board and now our band manager thought it was a good idea to obviously push this interstate and make a tour of it. We were sorting out all these dates and it was so overwhelming. I'm just like freaking out. We're actually going interstate. We're playing shows in different places. Everyone on the tour was somewhere I'd never been before, so I was pretty keen to check the places out. And it's pretty surreal finally getting to get out and see Australia. We're going into a completely different state to people that wouldn't even know us. And um, I was just so stoked on the idea of traveling and playing music. And that's how the Foundations tour will come about. Uh, first stop of the tour was Wyala. Now, this was the first time playing Wyala. We had no idea what to expect. And um, as we were pulling up to the venue, we weren't even sure it was actually a venue. And then we walked inside and they had this full setup. as like this whole stage and everything. It was really cool to start the tour off in Wyala because it wasn't too far from home, but it was still to a completely new audience. <laughs> had people jumping up to us, grabbing the mic, singing along, singing the words. It was the coolest feeling knowing that people like outside of our hometown hear our music. Port Pirie, hometown, uh, great show, absolutely awesome support we get from this place, um, absolutely blown away. First time we played at the local venue there and that was pretty fun, a lot of beer everywhere. <laughs> to have all the locals out there supporting us, it's, yeah, it's amazing. everything I thought it would be and more, it was insane. The, the room was packed and everyone was just having a great time, you know. Got a bit wild out of the back. Um, yeah, there was, you know, beers laid on and uh, everyone was getting pretty buck wild out there, all the bands and uh, that was a good hangout. <laughs> The Paul Pierce show was a bloody cracker. Don't really remember a whole lot though. Oh, 
obviously we've been playing in Adelaide for a, a while now and you know each show was just getting bigger and bigger and you know this show was no exception. It was a full sold out show. We found out the day after, we were pretty stoked. So uh, we loaded up uh, Willow's van and, uh, and started trekking over the border to uh, New South Wales onto Wagga Wagga. That was pretty handy, Benny having a house over there. And it was also interesting having seven lads living in a house. You soon uh, get to work each other out pretty quick. <laughs> Living in a house with seven dudes was, was interesting. We are just hanging out, trashing Ben's house, jumping around in the lounge room. Oh, I loved having the boys over. There was plenty of good times in the house that week. jamming in the living room and letting the neighbours know that we were going to make a, make a bit of noise and I thought they got into it. There was an old lady next door that was pretty stoked on the music, so... <laughs> the Wagga crowd was like really good. Um, yeah, a bunch of local lads uh, throwing down hard and having a good crack at it. So we had these people thrown down and everything and uh, one person, one bloke got pushed and he fell towards the stage and pulled the, pulled the fold back off stage. Uh, sound guy didn't seem too happy about that, he ended up cutting our sound and uh, jumping up on stage and stopping us halfway through our song. Yeah, the sound guy's just, he's just cut everything and he's coming up, he's, he's pushing through the crowd and he's just going off and he's just like, no more, no more. Awesome. You know, gets up on stage, comes up to Benny and he's just like, cut it mate, like. <laughs> I'm telling you, is, you need to dig some cash up and then I'll let you leave the venue. It's broken, get off the stage. I'm telling you. People were booing and throwing beer on him and we uh, worked it all out and we've, he's plugged us back in and we uh, continued on and finished our set and yeah, 
Work that real cool. <laughs> the next day we backed it up. We uh, drove five hours to Sydney and uh, played at MMRS. That was pretty cool. We cruised out after the gig and had a bit of a party. <laughs> Checked out the beautiful East Coast beaches. Uh, yeah, it was really cool to get out there. A bit cold, so there was not much swimming going on. Oh no! <laughs> We were really fortunate uh, to go and hang out at Jacko Strong's house over in uh, Lockhart. Uh, hung out there all week uh, while he was practicing for the Austin X Games. It's just, yeah, it's crazy seeing these guys and what they do and the effort that they put in and it's just, you know, hats off to them. got to help me out in the foam pit, we're controlling the crane and stuff. You know, I haven't actually seen much motocross up close. To see it like right there up in your face, them doing these massive tricks and just smashing down in the foam, that was insane. <laughs> Yeah, sick. The only one I didn't do is that second, that last big double going back that way. Yeah, right. The rest of it, no worries, apart from the ramp and the big triple. Yeah, also there was like some, you know, obviously the chances to hang out and a few late nights, having a few beers and getting the acoustics out and having a few little jams and stuff like that. Yeah, it was really, that was really cool times. Finished up in Wagga, loaded up the van, loaded up the cars and headed on down to Phillip Island, San Remo, uh, to play a gig that night at the uh, San Remo Hotel. <laughs> Where are we? We're um, on Phillip Island. So yeah, we got to check out a bit of the coastline down at Phillip Island there, where um, we got to see these big waves coming and crashing into the rocks. It was pretty spectacular. And uh, Willow thought it was a great idea. That he's, you know, big tough guy, rips his shirt off, gets out there, stands in front of this big wave coming in. Oh, you know, I was just standing there watching the wave come in next to me and I'm on my ass face down on the rocks. 
It's just cleaned him up. This wave's just like come up, crashed, disappeared, no willow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got f***ing rolled by that big wave back there, eh? What happened? Did you think it was going to get you that bad? No, I knew it was going to. I seen it come in and shit myself. Literally. <laughs> what the f*** is going on? Yeah, man, that was cold. It's got some balls. <laughs> Up inside. <laughs> Drunkest person on the tour. I think if you watch the realities film clip, you know pretty well that Will had a beer in hand majority of the time, so... Oh, oh yeah! Get f***ing! Cut and dry f***ing lid, mate. Yeah, best beer ever. <laughs> One second he's ripping laps around Jacko's motocross track, then he's sinking tins while he's doing backflips on the trampoline. I think I'm going to have to give that one to him. Willow, definitely. To cap off the tour, we uh, finished off at Bang in Melbourne. Bang was actually the Nitro Circus after party, so after their show, obviously the boys come out to Bang for a bit of a, a bit of a party, and Cameron Sinclair was the guest DJ, and uh, yeah, it was good to hang out with those lads and um, party on. Yeah, met some awesome people, got to see a lot of the country that I hadn't seen before, so definitely come back on a high and looking forward to getting out on the road again with the boys. I would easily give up my job, give up everything just to play songs and play music to all the world for the rest of my life. I'd do it in a heartbeat, you know, it's, it's, it's my passion. Jumping in the car with your mates, hitting the road, playing music, meeting new people, seeing new places, like that's the living. Without this I wouldn't have anything else really, it's a bit cheesy to say, but yeah, that's about all I do, man, and really enjoy playing music, so it means a, it means a lot to me to be, be able to play shows like this. Just on the support I think we have is um, blown me away. We honestly didn't think that uh, we would ever be here or ever, ever even get this far, and it's such a big road, and where it takes you is uh, you don't really know, but we feel like we're just going to keep driving this and uh, see where it does take us. Who 
never promised at all. 